wash and go and elements of style. Okay, so right now, I think my wash and go looks pretty clear. It's pretty fly. You know, like fashion rules, this is like hair rule. Really difficult to style a 4C wash and go and make it look presentable. So these are just some quick tips to always follow no matter what you do. For instance, my hair is banded with ponytail holders right now. Why? Because it's flattening my edges. And when your edges are flat, everything looks more presentable and aesthetically pleasing. Plus P, softness looking perimeter. When I say softness, you want the hair itself to be soft a little bit or the edges not too sticking up all over the place, okay? You want it to be like soft in the edges and you can get that by just gently picking at the ends of your hair with the comb or with your fingers. With the comb, it's gonna be faster. I'm totally dripping, y'all. I just did my wash and go. I wet the wash and go so I could do this because the ponytail technique uh, needs wet hair, but I wet it way too much and now uh, I'm like dripping. Anyway, <laughs> you want it to be soft in the ends, okay? So that's the first S. The second S is slick. You want the edges to be slick. Okay, like slick, and it's not totally slick, but it is flattened, okay? So slick or flattened, and you get that flat situation with a ponytail, or I could have slicked it with gel and pomade, the way I did in that video. I have that bomb wash and go video linked down below in the description box. It's really beneficial, really awesome, and it is the best when you slick it with gel and pomade, all right? Again, in the description box. And the last thing is perimeter. Now, preferably you want a bobby pin your hair all the way around the perimeter. It might seem like a pain, but it won't really take you that long. It'll take you three minutes maximum to just bobby pin all the way around. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna keep the hair sticking to your head, which is a lot more visually appealing. If you leave it to its own devices, 4C hair will shrink up and you'll get this type of look when it dries. And it just won't be that flattering. So when you already bobby pin it, whether it's still wet where you can mold it or it's dry already, if you just bobby pin the entire perimeter, it's really going to stick to the head and it's going to give you a softness. Just remember that triple SP. Wow, I triple SP, softness, slick, and perimeter. Okay, so those are the tips you always want to follow for a bomb wash and go. However you're going to get your slick, whether it's with a bobby pin, sometimes I slick my edges with a bobby pin. With this, in this situation, I slicked it with ponytail holders. Okay, however you're going to slick your edges and then the softness. You know, pick it out with a comb gently at the ends or with your fingers and pee bobby pin the perimeter.